uppercut. <laughs> basically do that I'm gonna explain it so so what I did was uppercut, then I spam charge right, I'm gonna turn off the volume so what I did was uppercut spam charge drop down drop down and then uppercut You see that? It's not like you uh, just you stop and then you uh, uppercut. No, it's you know you did it correctly if you um, if you bounce. See, it's it's like if you're jumping on slime. If you um. If you want to include the war scream because of provoke, you can see here, you can do this and then this. Or that. So what I did there was I uppercut? I got high, and then I upper, and then I did a war scream. Yeah, I did a war scream, then an uppercut. It's a bit complicated, but if you really need that war scream. Then, oh, well, that's a good method. Note, if you're doing this without the macros, then you might suffer a little bit. Because, well, you need to spam your mouse buttons. If you're, like, not using wind tails, or wind, yeah, wind tails that has this, then... It's kind of more difficult to do that. Now here's a mistake. A lot of people, I've seen a lot of people make this mistake and I've made this mistake too when I was testing it out. So what a lot of people I've seen do is they immediately uppercut. They stop charging to uppercut. Like that. They uppercut in the middle in the middle of the air. However, it doesn't boost them up. What they what they want to do is time it. This at this height is uh, normally where the height of nameless anomaly, I believe. So you would do this, do that. If it's going away from you, you can just do this and then do that, and then yeah. That's how you can upper bounce. This is what I do uh, during that, like, during that phase where it's like shooting lasers at you. You can just continue it. Look a little. You can. A better way to do this is um, basically, you just go in F five and you do this. You just do the same thing. 
it really depends on the person but for me it's more comfortable like this as cuz when you're in first person you're right up here and you have little space to look around if you can see that the you know mob you're trying to kill or something is just or if the nameless anomaly is just like gone or like it's doing that phase again or if the void hole is up there then you can you can move from this to just panic mode however do remember that this is without aerodynamics. I'm not sure if you can do this with aerodynamics, but I prefer it without. Because the charge is way more faster. Plus with this build, uh, plus with idle, it doesn't really matter if you can, you know, maneuver around. Because... As long as you're not in like a limited area or something, then controlling your charge isn't really I isn't really like needed. And if you really wanted to control your charge in a small area, you can look downwards. Looking downwards is a great looking down is a great way to limit your charge. Sure, you can't really move like that. However, you can just you know turn other ways and since you have a low charge uh, cost you can basically uh, not need any like you you wouldn't really need to say you would you can just spam charge without needing to like save on mana as you can see combine that with good mana gen and yeah what it what if you're doing this for a loot run? If you're doing that for like a, you know, those like defend stages or like slay stages where you have a ton of mobs you want to kill, well, just like do do the method I did for like the small areas. Basically, basically you just fly around. And your, your uh, flying kick will basically, you know, hit them. This thing. Your flying kick will basically hit the mobs. Let me just find one real quick. Yeah. And it's a pretty good distance as well, as you can see here. So yeah, that's basically the basics of it. This, yeah. I suggest just keeping the whole war scream separate. I suggest not trying to do it like you know like yeah like that because it might throw you off you can just do this you can just do this just be really fast at it And just be really good at clicking. Otherwise, you're not really gonna do well. Anyways, that's pretty much it. And if you're wondering uh, about this whole thing, uh, that's just. That's called Distant Horizons. Also, I'm not sure what mod is allowing me to just do this. But it's pretty cool. The chicken is the chicken. If you have one, you can just freak around. Yes.
So anyways, I'll, I guess I can pause it here and then like unpause it during the raid. So I'll see you guys in a bit.